Hey everybody, it's the holiday season, my favorite time of year, and probably you or somebody on your shopping list is a homeowner. And if they are or you are, maybe you've been eyeing up one of those fancy video doorbells. Or how about a smart thermostat or a smart TV or even a smart refrigerator? Well, did you know if you're not careful, your smart home devices can create a pretty significant security risk? That's what we're talking about today. So listen up. I'm Brad Cox from the Vesta Group of Long and Foster. If you're like the probably tens of millions of people who shopped on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, you may have been looking at some of these really popular smart home devices. You may have even seen my recent blog post, Gifts and Gadgets for Every Room in the House. And if you didn't, I'll post a link to it in the comments below. In that post, I talked about many different kinds of IoT or Internet of Things devices that you can use to automate your home and make life a little easier. And in theory, a smart home has the potential to do some really cool things for you. You can control outside lights to detect movement, start recording video, and send your voice over your doorbell to let a potential burglar know you're watching and they're being recorded. You can set lighting and temperature in a room as you're driving into a driveway. You can order pizza, record a show, get the latest sports scores just by using your voice. It's an amazing list of things you can do with smart home technology, and that list is getting longer all the time. It's pretty exciting, and people love this technology. You've probably seen the ads on TV where the package thief is thwarted, the bogus utility guy with the clipboard is sent running. They have all sorts of examples. There are even reports of neighbors banding together with their doorbell cameras to help deter crime in their neighborhoods. It's actually a pretty cool use of technology to help solve a real problem. But if you're not careful, these devices can also become a threat to your security. Because they connect to your home network, there's a chance they can be hacked and expose you to serious risk. Here's a few examples. Earlier this year, it was reported there was a security flaw with the Ring doorbell that could allow hackers to monitor and even alter the video and audio. It wasn't just that the hacker could potentially spy on homeowners. They could actually inject their own footage. So, say they captured footage of a babysitter or a family friend at the door from another day. They could take that recorded footage and convince the homeowner that that person was at the door again and maybe they'd unlock it and let them in. It's pretty scary. Now, Ring is owned by Amazon, and when they were alerted to the problem, they sent out an update to their app to address the issue. So if you keep your app up to date, you should be protected from this specific attack. So let's look at another one, smart TVs. Smart TVs use an internet connection to allow you to stream shows and movies from services like Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and others, and they they can do a lot more than that. Some new smart TVs include facial recognition, and that allows them to recognize who's watching and suggest uh, specific content based on your own preferences. Maybe they suggest cooking shows for you and SpongeBob for your kids, or vice versa, if you're so inclined. It's pretty neat. Well, on November 26th, the FBI field office in Portland, Oregon, published a warning about smart TVs and how bad actors could hijack your set and gain access to your home network, potentially exposing sensitive information and allowing them to watch and listen to you from the camera built into the TV. Maybe they can't get into your lockdown computer, but they could possibly use your unsecured TV as a backdoor into your router. The FBI's brilliant advice was to place black tape over the smart TV camera keep it updated with the latest patches and read the privacy policy to understand what your TV is capable of doing or tracking. Now, I don't know about you, but I want a little more than black tape standing between me and my data and some hacker. So here's a list of a few tips that you can take to help secure your smart home. Number one, use a firewall. There are physical and software firewalls. The physical kind that we recommend protects the devices connected to your router by creating a barrier between them and the ISP's router, such as Comcast or Verizon or whoever whoever you use. You just want to make sure that you connect your devices, wired or wireless, to the firewall and not directly to your ISP's router. Number two, change your default router name. 
When you get a router, it's gonna come with a default name. Change it to something cryptic and not associated with your family or your address. Use a weird combination of random letters and numbers so it can't be tied by the name to your house. And number three, use strong passwords and change them frequently. Look, password is not a password. Neither is one, two, three, four, five, six, or your kids' middle names, or your birthday. Make your passwords 15 characters or longer and include random symbols, numbers, and letters, capital and lowercase, to make it difficult to crack. Here's a bonus tip. Number four, turn off remote access on your router. Remote access is a standard setting on most routers and it allows you to control the router from a separate location. That can be helpful when you want to monitor your kids' internet usage, but it also leaves you susceptible to hackers. These are just a few tips to help you keep your smart home safe. We're going to be working on a more thorough list of suggestions in collaboration with our favorite IT professionals. So if you want a copy of that report, just comment below or email me at brad at homesbyvesta.com and I'll, I'll message you with the details. Just remember, we're not IT professionals at the Vesta Group, so don't call us for tech support. And if you like this video, please subscribe, comment, like, and share all that. Stay tuned for more coming soon, and thanks for watching.